music can cause a forest without a shoes like a bird without its wings stop floods stop pollution that could be our solution yeah that's really all i got to say but being lazy is not okay what is a forest without its trees it's like a plant without its leaves or a flower with no leaves we need to take care of our world cause it's the only place we've got we can allow our earth to rot we need to make it stop we can't do this all alone we need your help so let the roots go into you yeah, the water's gonna. The soy sauce is gonna. It's gonna bring it. some of that down there with it. That looks like diarrhea. <laughs> Drains to where? Waterways. And what's that a picture of? A fish. Hey. Hey. What river is that? The Passaic. The Passaic, and you know what the Passaic leads into? Yeah. Yes. I did it, guys. Look, it leads into the what? And a hack and sack, and look what this is right here. Jersey City. Where does New Jersey start? Very I'm so smart. lost. Very small. I came up this with the New idea. Jersey. That side is New Jersey. This is came New up York. with the idea. We're calculating the total um, area of the school and then finding what's permeable and what's not permeable. So now let's talk about our predictions and where our homes were. Okay. Was it safe? Did you predict correctly? This one was safe. <laughs> oh, look at the flooding happening. That's a whole village. It was that a is puddle. a big pool. Yeah, it was a puddle because everything here is like a little... First of all, Josh picked this home because he said, oh, the water is going to gather down here. <laughs> Leah picked this home. I don't know why. Because I, I didn't see a lot of water near it, even though it's a lot. I feel like the water is going to go down because it's like little plant. Hey, it's raining. So what's your prediction? Did the water go where you predicted? Almost. Yeah, like 50. What's a bad area? A bad area to be right now? There. So who put their home over there? <laughs> uh, what were you thinking? Everybody's running for their life right now. <laughs> Do you see your relatives? They're swimming. Aww. It in here, it really went. Like, it stayed in there. In here, it's like coming out by here. It didn't get in the house. Mine's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> all the way right there. Mine? They're dead. <laughs> Mine's pretty good. See? We're looking for the reservoirs and we're circling them already. Oh, nice. We're circling the Hudson River. Where does the Hackensack start? Okay. By, by the Orange oh, la, 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 Reservoir. The what? Reservoir. Sorry. Right here. How are we going to catch this water? What do you think your homework assignment is going to be this weekend? Find, find a way to capture water with the known spots around our school. Precisely. So this is our school grounds, and this is the front of the school, and this is the side of the school where our, where our water pipes is. This is the pipe that we're putting the first rain barrel at, and this circle is the rain barrel, and this is the loading dock where all the trucks come in, and this is the parking lot so uh, Director Kevin O'Reilly can know the surroundings. So right here we're looking at how we're going to collect um, rainwater and the red is going to be the wall and the school and everything and the brown is going to be the rain barrel. The blue is the leer pipe and the black is the street. I've been here when it's raining and all the water gathers up on the roof and it doesn't fall down. At the corners of the um, building, we should there should be like a pipe that all leads to one job. I like that idea. Is it a flat roof or is no. it a pitch roof? It has a slope. It's a pitch roof. Is there any evidence of water being able to leave that roof right now? Yes, there is. Where? Where it's sloped, so then the water okay. could probably just fall so, down the hill. So let's take a walk around because it's directing the water this way. So why don't we see what's over there then? We need to find out where that water's going then. If it's on the roof and it's running here towards the street, but it gets stopped, do you think there's something inside the auditorium? Does anybody see any leader pipe or gutter on that closer? building? No. no. Oh. Now let's look over at this building here. We see one, two. I see it to the sewer. Oh, there's but another one. Yes. Right hey, uh, also, no leader pipes. You're suggesting to put a rain barrel right there? What is this 
square looking pipe right here. Yes. It's a down spout. Very good. What's another name for it? A leader pipe. A leader pipe. Why? We could put a barrel in a green barrel that kept rain in here. It's a pipe that goes to the base. Uh, the sewer. The water is being wasted. Yeah. This is my sketch. So the water goes up, like it comes down from here, goes into here, and it comes down. Very cool. Oh, my sketch is horrible. I drew arrows to guide you if you're lost. So <laughs> water goes down, it turns here, and it goes down in the other two. Oh, so you explain yeah. the direction. So it. A lot of students are showing direction of the water. They're not only drawing the picture, but they're showing arrows. Very good. And where does the water go that hits this ceiling overhead on our school's loading dock? And where do those pipes lead to? Oh, okay. the floor. They go to the sewer. They, they go flood the city. This is the water from up there. And underneath and out here. Oh my god. Is yes. that where the water goes? Yes. Provide an air and life for something new. What are these trees that for you? Provide an air and life for something new. First we have to oh, we drop need a pin in it. We need to do what? We need to pin it. It's not. So, tell us what you're doing. Nine centimeters. I tree hugged. You tree hugged? <laughs> so what do you have in circumference? A nine. Trees do many things, absorbing water shit, absorbing so much, looks like a water bed. And even with so much water from the sky, the summertime trees look super dry. With butterflies in the sky looking so fly, how can you not love trees? I'm a tree loving guy. If it's just sitting in a puddle of water around it, because the, the soil is clay-like here. Now we did an experiment with the last class. We poured water in the hole and the water sat there in the hole. What we want to do is break that clay up and, and put topsoil around the tree. And it'd be really good if we had peat moss too. You got peat it. moss creates air and space. So we need two times this wide and the same depth. We also want the root ball, you see where the roots start to pop out at the top of this tree? Yes. It needs to breathe and get water and air. 24, 25, 26, 27, right here guys, right here. I wonder how it would be to have life off a tree. Think of all the things I would experience every day. Standing there with the sun, shine, making water from the rain Photosynthesis all day, just standing there I wish I could be a tree, living all day good things Standing there with the sun, shine, just living my lovely life These are designs of the that we want And we chose this color because if it was white, it would get there easily since we were Being a tree could suck, problems all around me you can't get out of there, although it's your only dream. Are those people or are those trees holding each other? People? Yeah, they yeah. look like people. They could also be trees, though. Cool. We put MS7 tree huggers. People come being on me, suckers growing on my roots. Other trees been cut down. What should I do? So you connect the trees and sharks. Yeah. You know, trees are on the earth and sharks are in the world. They both need water to live. 
bother to think about it Being a tree is not so good It could sure be great But it depends on who's around Do I wonder how it would be To have life off a tree Think of all the things I would experience every day So I did my shirt so it says like I don't give you Wi-Fi but I give you life As if I was a tree and then in the back Kind of like helping each other In a promotion for trees yeah, we are advertising free speech and we put like a big tree over here. Oh, we're the tree huggers? Yeah. Do you want to say anything about our school, like maybe the MS7 tree huggers, or you like it just tree huggers? And, and But in the back we put... Um, oh, you come to school on the back. Nice. Whoa, look at that. Steam with the music coming up. This is awesome. And on the back it's... How about the back? MS7 okay. tree speech, they snap on uh, other design. We have... Whoa, we work together at the same time. It has hashtag free speech to promote our um, hashtag on Twitter. Tell us about that. It just has like the tree of life in the middle and then two trees on the side that are representing the people. Very cool. And then on the back it has... And I painted a Mod Podge, which is just like a glue. It blocks the paint from going through everywhere except for where we wanted it to go through. Okay, so it goes this way, it says we're all in this together. We have to aim it in the middle. And then we're gonna put some paint, just hold it up for a sec, cause I'm gonna go like this for a second. We can't drag the paint too close to the edge or it'll seep underneath. Okay, so we put it right where we want it. Taking this piece of cardboard that I recycled and I cut the edge, this is a straight edge. This is the re weird edge, you see that? So we have to make sure we're on the straight edge. This is gonna act as a silk screen. It's like a cheap version of a silk screen. We pull the, the um, acrylic paint over this, and the acrylic paint, you know, is permanent. So mm -hmm. it will permanently stay on the shirt. Then when we're done, pull the paint to the side, ready? And we lift it up. So what was your role in this project? As a master gardener, one of the things I do is I work on a helpline and people call in and ask questions and I answer them, I look up information. So uh, when Mrs. Federico said she was going to put in a butterfly garden, I, uh, I started to look up information and uh, found out what kind of plants might be good in the butterfly garden and um, that's kind of what I did. Worms are good. I mean, the soil is good. Worms are good. We came across obstacles that tried to take us down Just like the clay that was in our school grounds When winter came around When winter came around Then spring came around and we tried to save our rain Not getting permission caused us all a big pain This didn't stop us from doing what we can So the gang came up with a new big plan When summer comes around we would come back together Sing our tree blossom with the students in September The sun shines bright past the beautiful leaves as the butterflies fly through the bright blue sky When summer comes around When summer comes around When summer comes around, when summer comes around. If we don't communicate with each other Finding a solution to the problem will be harder So let's raise our fists to the clouds together That we will be stronger forever Because we want to make sure that we can plant Miss Federico! The right way. The right way. It all comes around. It all comes around.
she I can't learn by watching. Good. What chord is that? G major. It's E minor to G. To C to D. And what sentence do you have for that? To help egg, you remember? Egg girl climbs Doritos. Oh, of course they do. Egg girls climb Doritos. Hold your card up and tell me what literary device you have. We have understatement. And what do you have? Automatic Onomatopoeia. And what do you have? Simile. Simile. Yes. What do you have? Hyperbole. What do you have? Personification. Personification. Simile. Simile. What do you have? Idiom. Idiom. What would you call me? An idiot? No, idiom. An idiom? <laughs> what do you have? have metaphor. Simile. Simile? Huh? Cliché. Yell at me. Cliché. Cliché. Imagery. Imagery. Alliteration. Alliteration? Imagery. Imagery? Understatement. Under, that is an understatement. It's called Medley and there's many albums and um, I have this album right here and this is a song I've been working on. So it looks like MIDI, right? Yeah. Why the trees turn from green to gray? They provide some fresh oil too every week and day. Still they're treated like a cat who's homeless. Up the trees are earth will go from jubilant to depressed. Open the chest of emerald green and try the photosynthesis. Together we can lead to material success. Let our mother nature's precious treasure. Let our mother nature's precious treasure. Let, let our, our mother nature's precious treasure. treasure. Stay the concrete away. Please let the water stay. Trees greet the sun. For them it is healthy and fun. Trees and the water are like family. Like kinship with my siblings and me. Let our mother nature's precious treasure. Let our mother nature's precious treasure. The sky. But, but trees purify the polluted air. Let the, the required chemicals, chemicals be our care. Earth will stay with us forever. The, the more the trees, the more the merrier.